I'm Ninja here and I'm just showing you a tutorial on how to get like a logo or whatever that you've made in Photoshop or you've drawn up or whatever and then opening it up in Cinema 4D to make it a 3D object that you can use for intros and stuff like that. So first you want to get your logo which I already have done and then use the pen tool to just like draw over the thing like that and but I, I have already done that because it takes quite a while to do so and it would have been boring for you guys. So I will do that. And so once you've gone over the logo like I have, so you've got the little white line and stuff, and you want to go File, Export, and Pass to Illustrator. Because Sony, oh, because not Sony Vegas, um, Cinema 4D can read the same files as, read the same files as well, no, Illustrator does. And yes, because I made a video before, but found it, I minimise that. And there's your picture, your logo, whatever. But it's a flat image, and so when you render it, nothing will be there because it's just like a outline of it. You want to go to this like little square with the blobs in it, and go extrude nerves. Then you want to get your untitled, drag it into the extrude nerves, and boom, extrude it. So quite easy. Um, and now we'll just. So once it's like that, you can change all the caps, things like that, all that kind of stuff. And I just hit Control Shift O, open my Material Pack up, and maybe use some blue, yeah, some blue, and just Control C that, Shift F8, open it up in a um, in one of Grayscale's. Studios, go no four because this one looks pretty, pretty it looks pretty. And Control V, there's my image. Drag that across, and I'll render that out. So yeah, easy done already. Really simple. Looks like really good if you've got a really good picture and simple. Um, I've said simple too much. Um, <laughs> you've got a really good picture. And yeah, you can just use that as like your designer logo or whatever, or for intros, because it will also work with things, because it is now just like a MoGraph thing, so I can make it a rigid body, and then hit play, and it will fall, so you can make intros and things out of that, and animate it, and yeah, so that's about it, see, and if the tutorial is helpful or whatever, could you please give us a like, and if it really, and it would really help if you subscribe and things like that and thanks